Hello everybody, back here again with another vlog a day and today is Tuesday the 18th and today um, I decided to make myself a little rip fence for my um, bandsaw. I actually set it up to do some resawing which what you do is you actually run your saw blade down the middle of your long you know, board that way you can make a thick board into two thinner boards and what I was doing that for was in order to make, let's see if I can get this over here in camera to make this little bird feeder thing here and what we have is basically like a ferris wheel bird feeder and as you can see the cups will stay you know hanging down you don't want to fill them to the brim obviously or they will dump out because they do tilt a little bit but what will happen is a bird will land in here and the weight of the bird will cause it to flow to the bottom which in the beginning i'm sure it's going to scare the crap out of a handful of birds but once you get used to it it should be a little bit of fun kind of like a bur uh, um, squirrel feeder with the ears of corns and the end of the little twirly gig but this is clearly for the birds so went ahead and used a um, bicycle rim I got from a buddy of mine his daughter had outgrown it they never used it anymore and it was just kind of set in the shed I was hoping for like a mountain bike a great big one I wanted to put I don't know I figured I wanted to go with about a dozen of these on there but with the little wheel I only really thought I had room for four I probably could have squeezed a fifth one in there but didn't really feel the need to on such a small thing. I might make some kind of center cover to cover up this ugly bolt right here. Haven't really decided 100% I'm going to do that. But I kind of thought making like maybe, I don't know, maybe a big dish or something there. Maybe like a little wood um, sunflower or something like that. Haven't really figured out what I want to do. So the other thing I went ahead and done today is in the process. I have some old, um, looks like barn board, but it actually was on a shed. Um, this wood here. I went ahead and um, cut off four pieces. I ripped it down. It was about 10 inches wide. Ripped down to just a little bit under four and a half inches wide. It's a little thicker than what I really need now I look at it. But, oh well. I'll leave it where it is for now. And I've got to get a different um, sled or something because they're not buttoned up to make a 45 to make my frame worth a damn. But I rabbited the corners out here on the inside so I can drop in my glass or a mirror or whatever I want to do. Most likely it'll probably be in a mirror, I think. I might cut some glass and drop it in there and maybe like do a little etching on it maybe a western cowboy hat or something simple like that so but i got all four of those pieces cut um now i just have to find myself a better jig because i tried cutting with the um table saw and all i have for that is this little crappy jig right here and this thing is not even close to accurate so i'd say it's way way off i have my um, square on it and i have no luck with it at all so I think what I'm going to do now is go in, um, basically sweep up the shop first, go in, get cleaned up, and then this evening I'm going to sit down, I'm going to order myself a, um, have me on mind up I'm going to at least buy a um, digital ga um, gauge finder so I can figure out how many degrees this is, so I know which way to move back and forth to hopefully get these things a little more accurately, and I might buy myself a better sliding gauge that will actually allow me to do 45s better, but one that'll fit this table saw won't fit my next table saw because it's going to have a wider groove in it without these stupid little hooks on there so i think i'm probably gonna have to wait because i really want to step up to a table saw of a better quality unfortunately that's going to be a ways away i still got to pay for my roof and then save up the money to basically um cover that we're looking about eight grand for the roof on my house and then the new table saw is going to be about 2500 bucks so i'm definitely um, behind the eight ball on that a little bit considering the fact I don't believe in loans it's going to be a little while so anyway um, might have to break down and make myself a table saw sled for this thing but in order to do that I'm going to have to cut off these corners in order to get because I want to be able to drop the board right in there and not have the stupid T-track looking stuff so who knows it's hard telling what I'm going to do and I might just say to hell with it and just um, figure out a way and set up a better chop saw so anyway uh, a lot of rambling here about things that don't matter, so I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day.